Welcome to People Who Inspire. I'm your host, Mary Drelizak. Did you ever meet somebody and just know they were meant to be in your life? I recently did, and now I want you to meet her too. Her name is Sharon Joseph, and as the downtown Connorsville liaison, she's helping people connect with their purpose and to grow their business. Welcome, Sharon. Thank you, Mary. It's such a pleasure to be here. You're just an amazing person. I, uh, the first time I met you, I was like, oh my God, I want to be in her life. So I totally understand. There's something that appears to be so purpose-driven about you. I mean, people who inspire. You yourself inspire. So thank you for having thank me. Thank you for those kind words, Sharon. You, you certainly do, too. So those, thank you so much. What do we need to know about Sharon? Wow, Sharon was born in Trinidad, as in Trinidad and Tobago, and was bred in New York. I tend to say that, born in Trinidad and bred in New York, because when we migrated to New York City, I became a New Yorker. So I, uh, I ended up graduating from NYU and working on Wall Street, but that's the good part. The challenging part is, as a child, I stuttered. I stuttered so badly, I couldn't say, my name is Sharon in one sentence without stuttering through every word. And I sounded something like this, my name is Sharon, and I couldn't enunciate S's and W's. Can you imagine? My name begins with S, and I couldn't enunciate S. So people would tease me, I was the, the, the the person to be bullied in school. I had no friends. It was a very lonely time. I thought I had no purpose. I thought I was made broken. I said, and I actually told God this, I said, if you were God, you'd fix me because I am broken and I don't know what to do about it. It was, I had no worth, no self-esteem. I didn't know who I was. I was just looking at what I was going through at the time, stuttering and not having friends. But somewhere along the, lo the line, I found myself wanting to do more, wanting to be more than I was, a stutterer. And I started reading a dictionary, I know it sounds crazy, and a Bible, because it had long words that were broken up, the King James Bible. And I would read the Bible and read the dictionary to enunciate words. And after I did that for a long time, I took my savings as a teenager, young, uh, I had worked one summer and I saved every penny. And then I heard of this course, Dale Carnegie Human Relations and Effective Speaking course. And I paid for it. I must have been 17 and I took out all of my savings. It must have been like $2,000. $2,000 then was a lot of money to me as, you know, as a teenager. And I, and I took that Dale Carnegie course and I took probably 20 more after that. Uh, when I went back to be an assistant to the instructor. And this was a course young teenagers were not going to. This, these were courses for executives and business managers and so on. So I found myself just thrown in there, being embarrassed every week as I stutter through every course. But as the years went on, I re, I, I, without realizing it, I began to speak better. And that led me to obviously graduating from NYU, being on the dean's list. Being, you could be on the dean's list when you have no friends. You know, you can, all, you, all you have to do is to study. And then um, I worked on Wall Street as, at this amazing company, Standard & Poor's, managing the operations of the Structured Finance Group. That was the, that's the S&P 500 group. And after that, I, um, I became a consultant and did some consulting around mergers and acquisitions and other types of of consulting programs and my family lives in Connellsville and my brother and his wife recently purchased the Brimstone building that historic Brimstone building and they said you know Sharon you should come and help us you know get this building off the ground and up and running and I'm like sure but they're still doing construction so why not do some consulting and helping the businesses I'm excited to help the businesses because many times we don't realize we have purpose Growing up, I thought I had no purpose. I was broken. And I literally told God that, why did you make me broken? Not realizing that sometimes our purpose is like a diamond in the rough. You know, you see the stone and it's so pretty, but this came from something that was black and cold. 
like coal. Exactly. Let's talk about purpose. Mm -hmm. And purpose being that which we were um, made to do or to be. Yes. Do people really need to go out and find their purpose? That's an excellent question, Mary. Many of us think we need to go out and find our purpose. We don't realize that our purpose is in our DNA. It, when we were created, it was created in us. Our objective then is to identify what our purpose is. Some things are easier to identify than others. It wasn't easy for me to identify or think of myself speaking and helping businesses grow or people understand or identify their purpose. But because of what I had been through, I realized that sometimes your purpose seems to be hidden, but it's not hidden outside where you need to go and find it. It's hidden inside of you. It's, it's resident there. You were created with it. It's in your DNA. Let's give you an example. I have many apple seeds here. I've been saving them for a while. They're really small. This is an apple. The seeds came out of this apple. Unless these seeds are planted, it's not worth anything. We get the apple from the seeds. The funny thing about this apple is, if we, we can count the number of seeds that, that are in this apple, and they're about eight or nine based on my counting the last small apple I, I used, you, but you cannot count how many apple trees can come out of an apple. Does that make sense? So sometimes, for example, you and your children, let's think about ourselves. We have children. We don't know what's going to come out of them, but we know that something good, we, we know that some of you are going to, you're going to come out of them. Like the apple, you would not plant an apple and expect an orange tree. So our creator, when he created us with purpose, he wants us to be like him. Everything is made after its own kind, right? So when our creator created us, he created us with the greatness and the awesomeness of who he is. And he wants us now to show off the greatness of who he is through the, the everything we do. A bird, when a bird flies, it brings its creator glory or, or, or honor. Think about it. But a bird doesn't need to go to school to learn to fly, or a fish, it doesn't need to go to school to learn to swim. It's in it, it's innate. Sometimes though, we take the innate qualities, purpose within us, we take it for granted. Or someone may have teased us, oh, he just draws everything so well. He, you know, that's just nothing for him. So we think it's nothing for us as well, not realizing that that's our purpose, to be a blessing to others in what we, what we naturally do. That's a great example. Um, thank you for sharing that, mm -hmm. that wonderful visual. And, you know, you think about that too. Everybody, different ages, different talents, different backgrounds, whether you're a 17-year-old and have a great singing voice or you're a 95-year-old who... Um, is, is, you know, living in a nursing home. We all have purpose. Absolutely. Speak to that for a second. Absolutely. Yeah. So many times we try to stifle the greatness in our children. It's like, well, you stop jumping around. Now, he could be the next world's gymnast. But we're saying, stop jumping around, stop flipping around. Rather than encouraging him, huh, he's good at flipping. Let's see what else we can make him or her participate in that relates to flipping, maybe her purpose is in that. For a senior person, we may think that I'm old, I, I, I'm, I'm done, I don't have anything else to do. Can I tell you, as long as you're alive, you have purpose. And the thing about your purpose is it's not for you. These apple seeds, when they grow, I've never seen an apple tree eating apples. Think about it. So everything in us it's to be released and given to other people. So for seniors, they've been through so much. They know so much. And if they were able, and if we actually, younger people, were able to value, treasure them, and see their value, see that in them there's such greatness, mistakes that we don't need to make because they already made it for us. If we were to learn from them, our lives would go so much smoother and we'd walk more fully in purpose. Not just us, the recipients, of their goodness and past experience, but them, because they'll be walking in purpose as well by helping someone else. And you're never too old or too young to walk in your purpose. Exactly, as long as you're blessing other people in some way, um, you know, that is so special and so important to me. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that so much. Absolutely. Um, Sharon, how can we connect with you? Sure. So you can reach me via my website, and it's, it's simple, my name, Sharon A. Joseph, which, which is our... S.A.J. Consulting Services, but in case you'd 
forgot SAJ Consulting Services, just think of Sharon A. Joseph and you'll find me online on my website or you can email me, Sharon, uh, SAJ Consulting Services at gmail.com or my phone number, 724 603 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You certainly are a blessing to so many Thank people you. and helping others be a blessing to to our community as well and helping our, our businesses grow. Uh, thank you so much for sharing all and being here and doing all that you do. Absolutely. I'm excited. There's some great businesses downtown Connellsville and my passion is to see them grow, expand and be successful. Well, we're not always mindful about purpose. We need to be mindful of it and to know that every day matters and that everything that we do matters and that we can be a blessing to everyone in our lives. Absolutely. Sharon, do you have any final words for us? Absolutely. Our purpose is within us. We don't need to go look outside to find it. So when you find you like something or you can do something well, continue pursuing that area of your life. Also understand that there is an, an investment that's required. You need to invest in you to refine, refine the gifts that are in you that you need to share with the world. And finally, while you're doing that, live with my CIA principles I call character, integrity and an amazing attitude. If you do those three things, your gifts will take you places you never imagined. And make that apple tree grow times 10. Thank you so much, Sharon. You're welcome. Thanks again for being with us.